Are you a small group looking for a sip and effective soak baseline with a wide gap channel on the open core? Look no further. The wide gap channel will allow you to retake compounds ever needed. Have a sip and effective starter will last you throughout your wipe. Well, six piece onto your open core, protecting all 20 large boxes and through auto turrets behind ramps. The sure flow is designed for the crouch better in mind and built out a lot of head glitchable spots. If you like everything you saw, the build and upkeep cost will be on screen now. I'm live every single day on the Turtle YouTube channel, so make sure to stop by. Have a tour, we'll be playing right now. Heading to 1 out of 3 external TCs, you can see the upkeep for the Y gaps. In the event of your main TC being broken, place a square foundation along with a roof will disconnect your out TCs and allow you to replace your main TC. Once you place on your mid TC, place two triangle frames and go to sheet mode to reconnect everything back together. Heading to our simple but effective compound gate, we are piece out and back into our compound with two drop boxes and two turrets on either side. There's an additional two auto turrets on both sides of your bedroom with two beds, peaks back into your compound and three drop boxes. Heading inside our channel wall, we have more bedrooms with a compound battery two drop boxes and a water turret. We also have these really nice breach peaks looking back inside our compound gate so if rains are really through there or anyone try to go deep we get a really good angle onto them. You can swap out these two triangle roofs for oil refineries, ladders or even a furnace. Open up this single door will give you peaks onto your upper core and the way into your star base. But it's also protected by our auto turret. There's a really open starter with more than enough space for deployables like boxes, sleeping bags and furnaces. And this PK gives you peaks on any really to try to jump down or give you peace onto your early game front door in case you're getting early game raided. There are three entrances into your overcore, all guarded by turrets behind ramps, and there are six places to retake overcore from in the online scenario. There's over 20 boxes inside your open core and all the deployables on the outside making them feel more spacious, and there are three unlootable lockers increasing the rate cost. On each jump up, there's ankle by a piece allowing you to retake the shoe floor if ever needed and your main bedroom has hardly no doors as the three auto turrets work together to guard your beds, lockers and batteries. In the event that you don't have your turrets up yet, you can use these ramps to retake open core if ever needed. The shoe floor was built to have a bunch of head glitchable spots and for the new crouch meta in mind, give you a variety of peaks in and out of your compound with peaks onto your roof as well. Having these ramps inside your shoe floor is perfect for the new crouch meta and allows for a lot of head glitchable spots. Also give you peaks back onto your roof. I decided to put doors here instead of windows so you get to decide when you peek the radar and when you stop peeking the radar. Gives you a lot of control over the fight. And then this is your jump up onto the roof and it gives you another peek onto your roof as well. The roof has 6 beds, 4 in side cover, 2 in the open behind ramps and more peaks back in and out of your compound with these ramps give you wider peaks against those hugging your compound walls. If you like everything you saw, the bell and upkeep cost will be on screen now. I'm live almost daily on the Turtle Up YouTube channel, so make sure you stop by. Have a build video we'll be playing right now. Your expanded starter will just be a normal circle footprint, but at the start of wipe, we want to aim to get down the normal one by one. If you want an idea on where to place deployables, rewatch the tour. Once you're ready to expand, place two trial foundations along with a square foundation. The square foundation will be your first loot room of wipe. While well, once Triumph Foundation will have a wooden wall that you'll soft side later on, and that one will have your door to let you exit your base. When you're ready to expand out more, it's the same pattern of a Triumph Foundation, a Square Foundation, Triangle Foundation, Square Foundation, Triumph Foundation, Square Foundation. Just repeat that over and over again. When you get to the last two square foundations, place a wall next to the wooden wall, but make an airlock use a double and single door on the other foundation. Once you've done this, go back to the wooden wall and place a wooden ceiling above, and then soft side the wooden wall out to place a window to make a head glitch wall spot in case you're getting early door raided. All you want to do now is just wall off the square foundation. Uh, this is what your base looks like from above. All you want to do now is go around the base and place out two layers of honeycomb. Once done, place two half walls above the wooden floor, then soft side out and place a door. This will count as your new front door of the base, and you can turn the other front door into a place for your vending machine. Go in out every other square, add two half walls and a window, like so. This will be your peaks onto your upper core. Once 
On the left hand side of the door and two windows, place a triangle foundation with two triangle roofs. This will be a way into your base. While facing the door or the two windows, place walls on either side with a ceiling and box everything in until you get to the two triangle roofs. This way you'll place your front door. On the middle triangle, you also got to jump up and place two half walls as later on you go place two windows to make your shooter floor peaks. Before we do anything else, we're going to get down our stone TCs so we can't get griefed. Just follow all the build that I'm doing to do the wide gaps at China Wall. It's important while making the XL TC compartment that you add two half walls in the middle, otherwise the Mesa Taurus Discount Hall TC will work. This vending machine is not needed, but I feel like at the start of wipe, it's good to get some passive sulfur coming in. While making the unlootable lockers, it's important to lock them and making sure that all your teammates get access to them. We could replace two half walls beforehand, now we can just place windows and this will give us peaks back onto our shooter floor. Raise up the honeycomb and make sure to upgrade the floor as is where your turret will sit. The 
there's hardly no doors to your bedroom as the three toys work together to defend your bed at large battery. On your breach peaks, build six double door frames, two on top of each other. And on your two bedrooms, build two double door frames on top of each other. On your china wall entrance, build five double door frames, two single doors, one half wall and two windows, like so. Thank you. 